In the ever-evolving landscape of the automotive industry, a compelling and ambitious call to action has emerged from BYD, Build Your Dreams, a notable figure within the sector. In today's video, we will explore the significance of BYD's call and why it holds a paramount place in shaping the future of the automotive industry. BYD has reacted emphatically to recent news, specifically concerning the Volkswagen Group and other long-standing players in the automotive industry. These established giants, rooted in the old world of internal combustion engine manufacturing, continue to wield significant influence in global car sales. However, BYD vehemently disagrees with the course of action taken by its counterparts. BYD does not endorse these collaborative ventures between Xpeng and the Volkswagen Group, Audi and SAIC, or Li Auto. While Chinese automakers may view these partnerships as a tactical advantage, particularly in the short term, BYD is advocating for a different approach. They are calling for unity among Chinese car companies with a resounding message. Let's come together and dismantle the traditional automotive establishment, the old world. Yes, the language used by BYD is quite stark and unapologetic. They explicitly state, let's crush the old world. Let's crush the existing legacy automakers. Their call to action is clear, urging all Chinese automakers to unite and collectively take down the traditional automotive giants. This movement is already underway. BYD is emphasizing the urgency of this endeavor, advocating for a swift and decisive effort to dismantle the established automotive order. This situation is undeniably a cause for deep concern for competitors in the industry. The challenge of competing against an industry that produces more advanced products at a lower price is already daunting. However, when that industry collaborates with the explicit goal of eliminating its competition, the challenge becomes nearly insurmountable. So how can competitors respond effectively to this formidable situation? For example, how can they compete against an industry that outpaces them in technological advancements while maintaining low prices? The difficulties are immense, and when this industry unites to achieve a common objective, it leaves competitors with few options and little hope. It's deeply disconcerting that BYD is openly revealing its intentions, which include a concerted effort to eliminate traditional legacy automakers. Their stated objective is to crush these established players, and they have already begun making strides in that direction. This transparency underscores their determination to take every possible action within their capabilities to disrupt and eventually replace the legacy auto industry. The intriguing aspect here is that BYD operates independently. While Volkswagen Group is often perceived as a strong player in the Chinese market, the reality is different. Volkswagen, at best, has approximately 50% ownership in its joint ventures with Chinese companies. In contrast, BYD maintains full ownership of its enterprises. Although BYD engages in activities such as contract manufacturing, sales, and parts distribution, it avoids entering into joint ventures. This unique approach places BYD in a highly advantageous position. Notably, it holds the distinction of being the second largest electric car manufacturer globally. BYD boasts several impressive titles in the automotive and battery industries. It holds the distinction of being the largest automaker of plug-in hybrids globally. Furthermore, it ranks as the second largest battery company worldwide. BYD has developed proprietary technology for producing blade batteries, utilizing lithium iron phosphate cell chemistry. These blade batteries are known for their cost effectiveness and are currently some of the most affordable batteries available on a global scale. In addition to being cost efficient, they are recognized for their exceptional safety and durability, factors that are widely acknowledged by consumers. BYD, currently the top selling automaker in China, is calling for all industry players to band together and, as they put it, demolish the old legends in the global market. Unsurprisingly, this call to action has gained significant attention and gone viral. 
However, it hasn't been met with unanimous approval. Rivals have criticized it, while others have applauded BYD's initiative. Recently, during an event marking a production milestone, BYD celebrated its grand vision, the emergence of China as a global auto manufacturing powerhouse. It's worth noting that China has now claimed the title of the world's largest car exporter, surpassing Germany in this regard. They accomplished this feat last year when they overtook Germany to become the world's second largest car exporter, and this year it appears they've surpassed Japan as well. During an event commemorating a production milestone, Wang Shanfu, founder and chairman of BYD, boldly declared, the time has come for Chinese brands to be ready. He made this proclamation while standing before an image showcasing the logos of 12 major Chinese automakers. This gesture is undeniably powerful and emotionally charged, as it essentially signifies Wang's endorsement of these 12 diverse Chinese auto companies. Wang Shanfu is essentially advocating for unity among these Chinese auto companies, proposing the idea of leaving behind Japanese, German, and American car brands. He emphasizes that this aspiration carries significant emotional weight for China's 1.4 billion citizens, who yearn to witness a Chinese brand attaining global recognition. BYD, which stands as Tesla's primary competitor in the global electric vehicle sales arena, put forth this call, and it garnered widespread acclaim within China. This enthusiastic response highlights the intense competition that Chinese automakers are currently contending with in their domestic market. Chinese automakers are currently grappling with intense competition within their domestic market. The price war, as reported by Automotive News Europe, has created a challenging environment. Some have erroneously claimed that this price war was initiated in January and was ignited by Tesla. However, this notion is fundamentally flawed. The reality is that the price war has been ongoing for several years, with numerous Chinese automakers selling electric cars at a loss. This trend began long before Tesla established a presence in China. Chinese automakers face fierce competition, not only within China but also in global markets, particularly in Europe and the United States. Some Chinese automakers, like BYD, have encountered challenges in Europe, with sales falling short of expectations. Despite a brief surge in sales in Sweden, BYD's overall performance in Europe has been disappointing. This contrasts with the initial optimism surrounding their entry into the European market. At a recent event, BYD showcased a video celebrating the establishment of a coalition of Chinese automakers, spanning from state-run companies like FAW Group, which dates back to 1956, to emerging electric vehicle startups like Xpeng, Neo, and Li Auto. The video celebrating the collaboration of Chinese automakers has gained widespread attention on Chinese social media platforms. It has elicited strong emotions among the Chinese populace, with some interpreting this fervor as a form of nationalism. However, there are also voices of criticism, liking it to racism. Nevertheless, it is undeniable that the Chinese population is highly patriotic and nationalistic, and they are enthusiastic about the prospect of their homegrown automakers achieving global success. Executives from competing companies have publicly expressed their admiration for BYD's accomplishments. William Li, CEO of NIO, took to Chinese social media to praise China's auto industry and suggest that they should draw inspiration from BYD's success. Similarly, the CEO of Li Auto shared the video and commended BYD, urging support for all participants in the electric car era. However, this bold message of Chinese automakers aiming to dominate the global market has raised concerns among some observers. They worry that it could lead to regulatory challenges in overseas markets. Particularly in Europe, there is a growing apprehension that an influx of affordable Chinese electric cars might saturate the market, potentially causing disruptions to the established automotive landscape. While one senior executive from Great Wall Motor encouraged Chinese automakers to embrace competition, it's important to note that this statement was made in a long-standing feud between Great Wall Motors and BYD. 
This rivalry is far from resolved, as indicated by Wang Yan Li, Great Wall Motors' chief technology officer, who believes that addressing their differences openly is preferable to pretending unity. In May, Great Wall Motor filed a report with Chinese regulators, alleging that two of BYD's top-selling hybrid models did not meet emission standards. This was significant, especially considering that these hybrid models had previously faced significant issues with fire incidents. However, BYD rejected these claims and even contemplated legal action against Great Wall Motors. Despite these challenges and disputes, BYD has solidified its position as a leader in China's electric car market, which includes plug-in hybrids and EVs. They now command a 37% share of the entire market, a notable increase from 29% just a year earlier. Remarkably, they have surpassed the Volkswagen brand, which had long held the title of the sales leader in China. Have you ever wondered what happens when smartphone genius meets automotive innovation? Dive deep into Huawei's groundbreaking leap into the automotive world with the Avatar 11 in this video. See you there.